And so, you know, as you're sitting back there, you kind of see how the games develop and kind of see, you know, uh, how we attack things. And, um, you're able to you know, gain a lot of insight and a lot of knowledge. So you don't just miss two weeks, and, but but you also you get experience and you, you know, get a willingness to want to go out there and make plays. You've dealt with injuries before, but concussions, I don't think. Have been, yeah, I, how different is I've that? Been, I've been um, blessed and lucky, and I haven't had too many injuries, um, thankfully. I think my rookie year, I had you know like a, a long thing, a rib fracture, and I had a concussion maybe or two years ago. Um, yeah, it was different, but um, an injury is an injury. Go on to the next, and they did a great job of taking care of me and not rushing me back, and so it's been, it's been good. It's a really big point of emphasis, too. It is, yeah, with the whole Tua situation, obviously. Yeah. Um, but, no, I can't say enough good things about, you know, nobody was pushing me, nobody was pressuring me. We understand how serious it is and how, you know, how, how, uh, how they learn more about it, the long-term effects. Um, nobody wants to do anything. That's going to hurt you guys. Obviously, you have a very different team, and they have a very different team. But that last time when you went into Kansas City in 2020 and got that win, what were some really good things that you remember from that game that you can carry over? I thought you were going to talk about last year. Uh, <laughs> so I'm glad you. No, yeah. no more parties. Yeah. No more parties on the logo. Yeah, yeah, definitely not that. Uh, <laughs> um, I remember, you know, we had a good game plan. Um, we called a good game plan, and we executed it. And that's what we're going to have to do here. I mean, there's no magic pill. There's no, you know, anything we can take. We just have to go out and execute. Um, they have a really good team, really good defense. Their defense doesn't get talked about enough. Um, obviously, their offense is unbelievable, but their defense is really good, taking the ball away. And so we're just going to have to play, you know, well to have a chance to, to go in there and, and have a chance to win. During your absence, being able to see guys like Mac Ball, or seeing guys like Josh, and being able now to add yourself, what does this mean? For the team, in your opinion, yeah, to have yeah, everybody yeah, give people opportunity. I think Mac has earned it. Uh, I mean, ever since he got here in fall camp and OTAs, he's, he's earned it and he's played well. And so, you know, like I said, when someone goes out, someone else steps up and it gives opportunities to other people. Um, it just makes you a stronger team. So, um, really excited for him. Obviously, you know, Josh is a baller, um, but really, Keelan's gone in there and done a good job too, Daddy. And so. Uh, it's been a lot of fun to watch. Yeah. Returning punts on Sunday? Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. We'll yeah. see. I mean, if they tell me to go back there, I will. He seems like a pretty low key guy, but also very competitive. So, how are you watching games? When you're, when you're sitting out, were you yeah. like wild and you kind of screaming? No, no, heck no. No, I, cause, you know, uh, just watching it, watching it with my wife, my little daughter, and uh, um, in Tennessee, you know, obviously I didn't go to Tennessee, so I watched it at home. Weird, you know, almost like watching a preseason game a little bit. Uh, and then last week, uh, you know, Foster was hurt as well, so I got to watch it with him and talk to him. It was great when you get a win, so a lot of good energy. Um, so, I don't know, it was a lot of fun. It's it's, it's interesting now. He's probably a character to watch a game with. Yeah, oh, yeah. I mean, he's the best guy in the world. Yeah, yeah. He's just very you know, quick and witty. It's fun. He's a great friend. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. First, what went into the process of going from the practice squad and being activated up, you know, kind of take us through that week? Um, I mean, on practice squad, I was working every day uh, to be in the back roster in the starting position. Uh, so I was preparing every day to get to that point, uh, studying tape, preparing like I was starting, uh, being, doing extra in the way from everything I could uh, to make sure that I was ready uh, to come to the time. So, of course, that first game when you did start, it was uh, in your hometown, Nashville, Tennessee, your first start as the Raiders. Yeah. Can you just describe the emotions of what it was like to go back home and play in that game? Um, it was cool. I had like 15, 20 fan members all there uh, cheering me on. The black was all scattered out through the, the Nissan Stadium. Uh, so it was a really cool, special moment for me, especially starting that game, uh, moving up from Peace Squad. Um, to the start my whole time, that's pretty cool. So throughout, you know, that last game with the win against the Broncos, of course you guys were effectively able to run the ball. What do you think clicked for you guys just in order to run the ball and really have success? Yeah, uh, we communicate well together. We have great weeks of practice, uh, preparing uh, with each other. You know, like our run fits are going to be our communication, knowing where each of us is going to be, uh, so we could execute properly. Uh, having good weeks of practice really helped us. When you came over here, you came from Chicago, and you were over there with uh, Chan Kelly. Uh, I'm not sure how pivotal of a role he played in signing here, but what's your relationship like with him? Yeah, good. Uh, Champ and I have a great relationship. Obviously, he, he knows me 
coming from the Bears, uh, so he knows the type of player I am. So with him coming here, uh, I knew that he trusted the player I am. Um, so it definitely helped with my decision. What do you put yourself through, just kind of like uh, mentally? How do you prepare for these games? How do you prepare to keep going every week? Um, just try to be a student of the game, kind of just studying as much tape as I possibly can, knowing our playbook inside and out, knowing how their players play, uh, personality, tendencies, uh, so I can be the most prepared on Sunday. So what do you mean to gain the confidence from coaching staff to go up from the practice squad up to the 53? Well, what was the question? How, how does it feel getting the confidence from the coaching staff and being able to give this team what they need right now at this moment? Oh, I mean, great. Uh, we got a lot of guys in the room that work really hard. Obviously, it's a great opportunity. Uh, so everyone out here is just trying to make the most of it and execute their jobs. Obviously, Saturday you're going to be a little bit busy elsewhere, but having <laughs> Notre Dame in town, uh, how cool is that? Having That's new... pretty cool. Uh, very cool. Notre Dame's coming to town to play BYU at Allegiant Stadium. Um, so I still know some of the guys there. I got the 60 years, the 24 year olds. Uh, so it'll be cool to go see them, uh, you know, cheer them on. I mean, the standard that they set, that we set back when we were playing. Uh, still is there right now, so it'll be cool to see them go out and execute. What's your thoughts on uh, the Marcus Freeman hiring? What do you think he's been able to do with the program? Yeah, uh, I met him a couple times. He seems like a great dude. I've heard from the coaching staff. They really, really, really love him. Uh, players really love him. So um, I think there's a lot of people behind him. Um, so we're all excited for that. As a unit, you know, Arrowhead is known for being loud. Yeah. How do you guys, you know, as a unit, prepare for that game? Uh, we know communication is going to be key. Obviously, when you play in a loud stadium like that, communicating and, and trusting each other, knowing where each of us is going to be is really important. Um, so just knowing that going into it will help prepare us. Thank, Thank you so much. So, uh, first off, uh, going against the Chiefs, I mean, I know you probably had a couple of matches against the Chiefs, obviously. What is your focal point? You know, when you think about this team, what are you focused on the most? Well, yeah, you know, uh, the first thing you think about the Chiefs is that they're really explosive. So, you know, you just got to go out and get to a, get to a fast start because, you know, they, they like getting on teams really, really early in the game. Um, as long as we weather the storm and, and really, like, focus on our keys and get, do what we are coached to do, um, we're going to put ourselves in the best position possible. I know it's a very much a different team, but, you know, remember that COVID season. 2020, you go into Arrowhead, you beat them. What were some good things that you believe your defense did to stop Mahomes that you could carry over into this game? Yeah, um, I just think we were really disciplined in, in everything that we were doing uh, that day. You know, like I said before, they're an explosive offense. You know, they're going to make their plays. they got great guys in their offense. You just stay disciplined throughout the whole game. Just stay pretty, like, really persistent. And as long as you do that, like, you at least give yourself a chance to, to really go out there and compete. How much do you enjoy playing in this defense with Patrick Graham, you know, new coaching staff, a lot of guys that are also new? How much are you having fun? Yeah, absolutely. You know, I go out there and just, just make sure I have fun every single day, you know. And he does a good job of just bringing the energy to the defense. And, um, you know, the players on the D-line are really close as well. So every time we go out, we just challenge each other to be better every single day and try to win the day. You know, of course, over the past couple of seasons with you as a, Ra as a Raider, you've kind of have kind of bounced back and forth between the practice squad, active roster. This season, you've noticeably have spent all of it on the active roster. How much confidence, I mean, have you had in yourself going to the season? And, you know, before and during. Yeah, no, my job is just to make sure I'm just ready every single year. So I came in camp ready, in shape, um, and you know, I, I just stay persistent and just stay consistent every single day. Um, going in and just working and trying to outwork my opponent, whoever it is. So that's what I just try to do. Something that I noticed uh, the first three games was kind of uh, not a couple. It was mostly just, you know, Max and uh, Chandler playing on the defensive line, taking a lot of snaps with Billings. And now the past week, you notice a lot more guys start to play on the defensive line and get a lot more snaps. How, what, do, what do you feel about this rotation? Um, no, no, everybody got to go out there and do a job, you know what I'm saying? Everybody's capable of doing, going out there and doing their job, so our coach has the utmost confidence in us to go out there and you know, do what we do best, and um, that's why you've been seeing a lot, a lot of guys in there. I appreciate you.